Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Maze Troll Tips and Tricks. If this is your first time here, my name is Phil and I teach people how to set up, run and program a Mazak CNC lathe using Maze Troll. If you want to see more of this type of content, be sure to click that subscribe button and hit the bell so you won't miss anything. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to cut multiple parts off of a bar using the end process with the Z shift function. This will allow you to machine several parts in a bar without rechucking the part between each part. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, the first thing we're going to do is start a new program. So push the left button, go to program, program file, and we're going to select a work number that's not listed up here. I'm going to use work number 25 for this example. So go back to program. Push work number, 25, input, and if it's a new program, push the program button. Mazatrol or EIA, we're going with Mazatrol. Workpiece material, this example is aluminum. Max outside diameter of workpiece, I have a 1.75 inch bar in the spindle. Inner diameter workpiece is zero. Workpiece length, this is the length of one piece of stock in the program. Uh, it's not worried about how many pieces we're going to cut off. So we can put a workpiece length of one inch is fine. Max spindle limit. I don't want to run the chuck past 2000 RPM in this program. Finish allowance on X, 10 thousandths. And finish allowance on Z is 5 thousandths. And stock removal of work face. I'm going to face off 20 thousandths of these parts. So first thing we're going to do is turn on the coolant and the next thing we're going to do is face off the workpiece. So edge, auto, and what I'm going to make, I didn't explain that yet, is some little uh, discs. And I'm just going to face it off in one shot with no roughing tool, just the finish tool. Starting point on X is 1.75. Starting point on Z is 20 thousandths. And I'm going to leave the surface roughness at zero, so it gives me a 10 thousandths feed rate. So the next thing I'm going to do is turn the diameter. So bar out, 1.75, auto, and I'm going to delete the roughing tool and just have a finish tool. Tool 4, offset 1. So linear, 0.030, 1.7. And then when I make these parts, 300 thousandths long, plus the cutoff tool is 125, so that would be 425. And I want to turn it back a little farther so that way the radius of the cutoff tool isn't into the end of my part. So I'm going to go somewhere around 0.450. Down arrow, linear, 20 thousandths chamfer, and then 0 0.450, 472. And figure check. Store scale. Let's blow this up a little. 
So I'm facing it off and I'm turning the diameter and then I'm chamfering the bar. All right, it looks good. So now what we're gonna do is come down here and cut this part up. And I'm gonna use the manual process to do that. So manual program, exchange, exchange point of tool. Number one, we're gonna go to the tool change position. And then we have to select a gear number whenever we're using manual process. This machine only has one gear, but you still need to tell it gear number one. And then down, or select the tool number. We're gonna do tool five. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna G0. We're gonna rapid to 1.8 inches in diameter and we're going to put a negative value minus 0.425 input so that way it puts the edge of the turning tool 300 thousandths behind or 125 thousandths behind my 300 thousandths wide part so i'm just making little washers 300 thousandths thick So RPM, I want to run it at 1200 RPM and then offset number one and then I'm going to do a G1 and I'm going to feed into it uh, to a diameter of 0 0.3, 300 thousandths. Feed rate per uh, revolution is going to be 0 0.006 thou per rev. And then these are modal. You don't have to put a G1 each time. Uh, gonna feed down to X0. And I'm going to change the feed rate to 2 thousandths per rev. So that way when it gets to the small diameter, it doesn't just push the part off real quick and then throw it out of the way. I want it to land into my bucket. Down arrow, G0, 1.8. And then down arrow, G0, 5 on X, 5 on Z. And then we're gonna do an optional stop. Down arrow, shape in. So what that did is it came over here to 1.8 and a negative 425 thousandths fed down to 300 and then fed down to zero and then wrap it up to 1.8 and wrap it to X5, Z5 and then it's going to have an M1 to stop the spindle, stop the program. So now what we can do is go N and this is where we're going to do the parts counting. So parts count, if we put a one in this field, it'll count the parts on the position or the command screen. So let's do that. Return position, we can leave this at blank. Next workpiece, we leave this blank because we're going to be repeating this same workpiece. Uh, continue. We're gonna leave this at zero, and then repeat times of the same program. I wanna run the program three times. Z-axis shift amount, 0. 0.445 input. So it's going to shift 445 thousandths to the left every time the program runs, and it's gonna run it three times and then stop. So we're going to cut off to 425 thousandths and then I'm going to add 20 thousandths to that which is 445 which then gives us a 20 thousandth stock on the next part in the program. So now let's go ahead and run the tool path. Program check. Check continue gonna face it off 
turn the diameter in one pass, and we're done. The toolpath check will not show the three parts being machined. So now what we have to do is set the work shift and then run the part. All right, let's do that now. All right, let's call up tool four. Set the work shift. So, program, program file, arrow down to program 25, push Z offset teach, 0.02, we're 20 thousandths in front of our zero, input. Position, auto, work number, work number 25. And we're 20 thousandths in front of our part. Go to the trace screen and we can see the turning tool in front of our part. And we're ready to run this program. All right, turn on the coolant. And let's run the part. Now we just cut off the first part. Now it's running part number two. Facing it off. Part number two is done. Now we're done. And there's our three parts. That was with programming it as one piece and then looping it with the end process and doing a Z work shift to cut the next one and the next one. If you like what you're seeing, Go ahead and push that subscribe button and click the bell so you won't miss any future videos we have coming out. Thanks for watching.